Hey guys, this is Drew with Swindler FX, and today I'm going to do another video on the soft step controller, but this time I'm actually going to walk you through how I set up the programming software for the soft step um, to actually control my timeline. Um, so here's what I use I use the advanced editor because it gives me more options, more tweakability that um, I couldn't really get to work in their basic editor. Um, this is a little more complicated, but with a little trial and error, I figured it out. Um, it's really not that bad. Um, so here's what you got. You can start off with just a blank preset. And you can go in here and you can set what each pad does. Um, and then you can save that preset and then you can add it to your set list. So I've got presets I've made here. Timeline, timeline loop, and then my light presets that I was talking about earlier. So what I do is in the set list, this is where you can just order what order your presets are in the bank so when it first boots up timeline loop is the first one you get to and then when you use the navigation pad this is the order it will go into um, settings uh, you can turn the backlight on or off I've got it off because I found sometimes it can cause kind of this interference with your guitar pedals and cause noise or sort of a it's like a ground loop hum but higher pitch um, so I turn that off for the time being uh, you can also alter the sensitivity um, if you feel like you're having to press the press the pads too hard to get it to register. Um, you can also calibrate a the expression pedal, but I've never actually messed with that. So let me go through how I set up my timeline preset that I went through in the last video. So if you remember, my first button was a Capistan El Capistan analog delay setting. So if you open that up, the first thing I've got is I'm using a foot off source. Um, so there's a lot of ways that you want to trigger this. Um, I used foot off because if you look over here in the timeline manual, this is going to be your friend if you're setting your own up um, under the MIDI specifications it's close to the end of the manual. You'll see that bypass, um, they've got a zero bypass and a 127 engage. Um, if it was the other way around, I could probably do foot on, um, but for some reason, this is the way I got it to work. Um, I used foot off, linear table, all zeros. Um, we'll come back to that in a second. So this is going to be triggering my first preset on the timeline. So timelines, you can access the presets with, let's see, MIDI program change messages. So the very first one, you access with zero. Bank 0, preset 2 is 1, bank 1, preset 1 is 2. So it's just incrementing through the banks and presets. So because my Capistan preset is in bank 0, preset 1, I need to send it MIDI program change 0. So I send a program change on MIDI channel 2. That's just what I set my timeline to. You could set it to any of the 16 MIDI channels. I just used 2 because I was using 1 for something else. And to access the first preset, you, I send zero. Um, I don't want to send anything other than zero. I just want to send zero to get that preset. So all these are zero. There might be a better way. You might could use toggle. I don't know. This worked for me. Um, so there it is. That should access my first preset. Now, that just accesses it. with a one That used to access the preset and turn it on, but with a, a recent update to the Strymon timeline firmware that actually changed how that works with MIDI control so you have to access the preset and then engage the preset so that's what this separate this second one does and you can turn these individually on and off but this one's on so I do another foot off source linear with a CC message type um, so MIDI CC numbers bypass is 102 so I use CC102, again, MIDI channel 2, and I send it a 127. 127 is engage, so that means I am engaging the pedal on the preset that I have made active. So that's how that's everything you do for that. Um, you can also change the name of the key, the key on the soft step, cap Q, display mode always on. Um, I've actually got the green LED blink false when I activate it because I'm using the foot off source. If I was able to use the foot on source, I might change, it would change the green LED to blink true because you would want to blink it when it's true rather than false. But as it is set up this way, um, 
the LED will blink when I step on the pedal. Um, this last one is unique. This is only on the first key. And what this is for is for the expression pedal that I have going in. Um, so you can see that the source is the pedal, the expression pedal input. I'm just using the linear 0 to 127 scaling. Um, and I'm using meshes type CC98 channel 2. So if we go to CC... Uh, Apologize. Here we go. MIDI CC number 98. So that's the looper level, right? So CC 98 on MIDI channel 2, that's altering the loop level of the timeline, going from 0 to 127. 127 is the max value for MIDI um, in the MIDI protocol, so that's going to go from all the way quiet to 100% all the way up. So that's what I have on the first button. Now the second button is very similar. It doesn't have the pedal. That I only need that on the first one. You only need it on one key for each of your presets if you want it to work. Um, I've got it on this key on this preset and I've also got it on the loop on this key so that I can control the loop volume no matter what bank of presets I'm in. Um, I've got it in both. If I only had it in this one, I could only control the loop volume with this, and then I could control something else in the timeline preset, but I wanted it universal to always work no matter what bank I was in. Um, so if we go back to timeline, this is very similar. The second one engages the preset, and the first one accesses my preset 1, which is bank 0, preset 2 on the timeline. Everything else is exactly the same. I literally just changed this. Um, same here, this is 2. Uh, ice is technically in another, it's not sequential, uh, just the way I ordered them. Uh, and that one's 5th, 6th, 8th, 9th, and that's just based on where I actually have them physically saved in my timeline so that I'm accessing the right presets. Um, and then the off switch um, is a little different my global off so that I can turn, no matter what's active, I just turn it off. I send a CC102. Um, like we saw before, CC102, but instead of engaging the preset that I want to, I just change this to zero instead of 127, and it'll bypass the whole pedal. Um, and lastly, tap. Um, tap is key five. So I use a key 5 press source. And now, in retrospect, I probably could have used key 1 through 10 pressed um, as my source for all the other buttons. But I added the tap functionality um, at a later date. So I didn't go back and change all the other ones because they were working. You probably could simplify it and use that specific key pressed as your source. Um, but for the, for the tap, I actually used key 5 pressed linear 0 to 127, CC type 93. Um, CC type 93 is a remote tap. And if you give it any value, it's going to register. If you, if you give any sort of value change, it's going to register as a tap input. So that's why we got a different value when it's on and off. CC 93 and MIDI channel 2. Another thing to note, I'm sending all these out of the soft step expander port because that's what's going to the MIDI expander I'm going from the soft steps expander port to the MIDI expander so that I can go to the timeline. If I had this just plugged directly into my computer with the regular USB cable, I would probably use the, the regular um, soft step COM port. Um, but because I'm going out of the mini USB, it uses the expander. So that's how I'm accessing my presets. Now if we go to the loop, I mean it's very similar. Um, very similar idea, but the looper, I'm using these right here. So these are CC numbers, or um, I apologize, I actually have it programmed. I'm not using CC numbers for the looper, I'm using these MIDI note values. Um, so for record, again, this one is just to make the expression pedal work like we already looked at. But for record, you do a foot off source linear zero to one twenty seven, just because you want to you want to toggle it. Um, 
but then I set it to note set and I do note zero we can see note zero is record and if the velocity is over anything over zero then it will start recording when you press that button so note zero velocity 127 just set it to max and anywhere in between would would work channel 2 soft step expander very basic very straightforward um, we can do the same for play it's literally the exact same thing but it uses note 2 note 2 is play uh, stop is note 4 note 4 is stop undo so on and so forth this this page in the manual is going to be your friend undo is note 7 um, Oh, I don't know why I did this, but for some reason I decided to go back to CC type messages and do 89, which you can see down here. CC type 89 and any. Uh, it's just, I'm not sure why I chose to do that. Maybe just because it worked and I stuck with it. Um, redo is 90, as you can see, 90 and 90. Uh, reverse, I did note set 14. Note set 14 is reverse. And half time. Half time's note 16. 16 half. And those being toggle, it'll change between reverse and non reverse on you know every other press of the key. Um, just because that's how the note set is set up in the timeline itself. So that's how you control the looper, and these are just copied from previously, just my favorite presets that I can access while I'm using the looper. Um, and you can change the overall display so you know what bank you're in here. Timeline loop, that's what you'll see on the soft step. Um, oh, if I go back to the timeline, you'll see that's how I know I'm in timeline mode. Um, so that's about it. Um, I will try to, if you don't want to go through and set all this up yourself, um, which I would suggest because you're going to want to change the name of the presets to be specific to what you want but if you want a good starting point I'm going to attempt to export these two presets the looper and the general timeline preset and uh, put them in a Dropbox file that maybe I can post um, along with the YouTube video in the comments or in the description so that you can download that as a good starting point um, and you can organize name it appropriately and organize your timeline appropriately and just change change the individual values instead of having to go through and set up the whole thing um, so hopefully that works like I want it to. Um, hopefully this was helpful. Um, hopefully this gives you a good starting point. Obviously, it sees, I don't have the soft step actually plugged in. It's still on my pedal board. Um, but it should say soft step not connected when you connect it to your computer with the USB cable. Um, and then obviously when it's connected and it sees it's connected, you just send, send press this button right here, make it so. Send your set list to the soft step and you're good to go. Um, comment in the video below if you have any questions. Feel free to message me. Um, send me an email, swindlereffects at gmail.com. Um, but as for now, thanks for watching.